Hello guys, welcome to another lore video and today we'll be talking about Megalodons. Megalodons, commonly referred as Sharkos by the adventurers. Apart from having a massive dump truck, they have also two other features. One being their massive jump and the other being a kick that will send you to the other luminant if you don't dodge it correctly. They originated in the depths, we don't know exactly which layer, I'd say layer 1, but it could be another layer. They used tunnels to get up to some luminant, we don't know exactly which, and then from that luminant they went to the eastern one. They seem to be made of some kind of fungi, but we don't know to what extent they act as fungi or as mammals. What we do know is their reproduction. They have a bag of spores in their back that can disperse a large amount of spores in the air. Now, while the method is still unknown, they somehow manage to impregnate the walls or something. This creates nests. Two or three specimens can be found in each nest. Facing against one Sarko isn't that big of a deal to an experienced adventurer. However, two or three at the same time could mean certain death. It's advised to not enter unexplored nests alone. There are in total three subspecies. The eastern variant, that was the one that I was talking about earlier. The red variant, that is found in the Songseeker Islands. And the elder variant, that is found in the depths. The red variant is able to use flame charm to some degree. It seems to be a successful experiment from the song seekers. However, this variant is commonly bullied by the other variants for some reason. The elder variant, on the other hand, is much older and more conditioned to fighting. They are the Sharkos that didn't migrate to the overworld and stayed in the depths. 